Welcoming Mr. Lorenzo Simonelli, Chairman, President and CEO, Baker Hughes. Welcome always in Abu Dhabi. Tell me, uh, how can companies keep on track with their net zero pledges, especially with all what we have been seeing around with the geopolitics and all the changes? Well, it's great to be back. And uh, again, I think it's about commitment. And as I look at Baker Hughes, we as a company launched our pledge in 2019. We said there would be net zero by 2050 and we'd be 50% reduction by 2030, scope one and scope two. And it's about how you develop a roadmap into phases between five years, 10 years, 15 years, and being able to change our supply chain, being able to change the way in which we work with our customers and also our partners and create an ecosystem that really enables us to focus on the reduction of emissions. And it's a hundred items that you have to tackle. And it's really the granularity of the detail of being able to shift into using renewables, being able to look at the way you do process efficiency, uh, application of digital. But it's no simple task and it really requires a project management rigor of milestones, commitments and timelines with ownership. Flexible ones, right? Yes, definitely. This is the second edition of the World Utilities Congress. What has been changed since last time? Well, the attendance is up and also there's more discussion across the board around how do utilities change as well? And how does the energy transition impact what is essentially an increasing demand of energy and utility companies are at the center of actually providing that to the consumers and the world at large. So very good discussions on how we're implementing, how we're preparing for COP28. Are we really creating that ecosystem that's necessary? We will definitely see you at COP28. Expectations for that? I think expectations are for uh, a transformative COP28, a dialogue that is really oriented towards action. And I think you've got very good ingredients in place and I'm looking forward to it.